Good day and welcome to our short explanation of the 10 things you should know about the Samsung DeX Pad. The first thing is that the DeX Pad is not the DeX Station. The DeX Station came out with uh, the Samsung S8 and uh, it will work with an S9, but it's not as powerful. So if you're going to buy one of these, the DeX Pad is probably the one you want. So that's uh, thing number one. Thing number two, Microsoft Office, work, Office works pretty well on it. Uh, let's just uh, fire this up and we'll show you thing number three take the cover off. If you have a cover like this one, you can try for a very long time to put this on and it will appear to go in but it just won't quite connect. And sometimes the mouse, yeah see there the mouse will come up, uh, sometimes it won't and you will probably spend quite some time trying to figure it out. The only uh, cover I've seen that does work with it, uh, these types of flip covers don't typically work with it, but the official Samsung uh, LED uh, unit does and that's because the entire bottom is cut out. If you have one of these uh, these uh, types of covers, this is an S line, but whatever cover you have, if you want it to work with it, you're going to have to cut this uh, plastic out uh, because it needs to squeeze right up to it. Uh, what that'll do to the integrity of the case, I don't know. So uh, I wouldn't do it. I just take the case off. So that's thing number three. Case is gone. Let's plug it in. Thing number four that you need to know, this DeX station, this one here, is exactly like this one here, and it supports only HDMI. It does not support DisplayPort. And you think, well, look, who really cares? Well, a lot of monitors now are DisplayPort, so that's an issue. Just make sure you've got an HDMI. And remember, you can't go from HDMI to DisplayPort. You can only go the other way around, which means you cannot get this, well, without some uh, active electronics, you can't just uh, uh, plug in a cable that goes HDMI to DisplayPort. It won't work. Thing number five, make sure you clear all the items on the desktop. So if you fire this unit up, I'm going to step in front so you can't see me hit, type my password. You can work with this mouse for a very long time. Nothing much will happen. If there's anything in the middle of the screen, you have to click OK to get rid of it or whatever, you have to go through the wizard, especially at the start, quite annoying. So keep that in mind. This dock is actually a fast charger, which is a nice thing to know. Thing number seven, the dock, because I won't show you one, well, I can show you one here. The dock leaves your speaker port open so you can plug uh, your speakers in if you'd like, or a headset, which is a nice option. This is also a big deal. These ports, these USB ports, I think, shockingly are only USB 2. I don't know why they did that. I'm sure there's some engineering reason for it, but uh, they're not USB 3, which means daisy chaining is a problem. You're going to need an active hub if you want to get more than two devices on there. So just take note of that. If you're having troubles with this unit, you what you might want to do is go into the new reset settings. That is a new feature. So let's just go back here. Okay, so what you do uh, to reset your settings without resetting everything, simply swipe down, go to your settings, Go to general, I believe it is. Yep, general. And then you go to reset. And then here, reset settings. That will blow out your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, things like that. But it will not wipe out your data. And it will not wipe out uh, the, the photos, things like that, which is great. So that reset settings is new to the S9. And um, that's a nice feature that's helpful if you're troubleshooting uh, the dock. One last thing I'll show you is a little bonus is after you plug it in and the DEX comes up, and you can see it comes up pretty darn smartly. You can pin items to the start bar here. So uh, that is quite a nice feature. Start an app and then just right click on it and say pin or unpin. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye bye.